Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This is another video covering the Raspberry Pi Pico, and today we will see how to use analog to digital conversion in Pi Pico. I will first cover the ADC part, where we will read the voltage from a potentiometer, and later we will see the internal temperature sensor, which also relies on ADC. Here is the pinout of the Pico. This is ADC0, ADC1, and ADC2. This pin is the reference voltage for the ADC. You can connect the reference voltage here. If not connected, then the reference will be 3.3 volts, considering the input to Pico is greater than 3.3. Here I will use the potentiometer first. This is how the connection looks like. The VCC is connected to 3.3 volts from the Pico. Ground to ground. And the output from the potentiometer is connected to the pin 26 of the Pico, which is basically the ADC0. Let's see the RP2040 datasheet once. Go to the ADC section. Here it's mentioned that this chip have 5 ADC input mucks. Out of them 4 are the regular ones. You can see them, they are available on the pins. But the fifth one is connected to the temperature sensor. Also the ADC have the resolution of 12 bits. Now if we look into the Pico Python SDK document, it's mentioned here that although the resolution is 12 bits, but in MicroPython, this will be handled as a 16-bit number. So this ADC behaves as a 16-bit ADC in MicroPython. That's all for the basic details about the ADC. Let's start the Thunny IDE now. The device is not connected, so I will connect it now. And press stop, and you can see the console. Let's write our program. First of all we will import the ADC from machine. Also import the time for delay purposes. Now let's initialize the ADC0, which is connected to pin 26. Start an infinite loop. Here first of all, we will read the ADC value, and convert it to the respective voltage. This idea is very simple, the ADC reading of 0 corresponds to 0 volts, and the reading of 65535 corresponds to 3.3 volts. So based on this, we can convert our reading to the voltage. Now we will print this voltage to the console. And sleep for 10 milliseconds. Now let's save this inside our Pico. It's saved successfully, so run it now. You can see the voltage values are being printed on the console. Let's rotate the potentiometer now. This is the maximum I can rotate the potentiometer, and it reads 3.3 volts here. Now I am rotating in another direction, and the voltage is decreasing. It's almost zero at the minimum point. You can see how the voltage is changing based on the rotation. This is because the potentiometer is like a variable resistor, whose resistance varies when rotated. That's why the voltage output from the potentiometer also varies. We can also bring the concept of angle of rotation here. 
This particular potentiometer can rotate up to 300 degrees. That means when the voltage is 3.3 volts, the angle is 300 degrees. And when the voltage is zero, the angle is zero. Again we will use the ratio logic, and write one formula to convert the voltage to the angle. You can see how the angle is changing with the rotation. This is it for the potentiometer. Now we will see the internal temperature sensor. Let's delete this code first. We will initialize the ADC4 for the temperature sensor, because that's the one connected to it. Again write an infinite loop. Let's see the RP2040 datasheet again. Here go to the temperature sensor. As you can see, here is the formula to convert the ADC voltage to the temperature. Let's copy it. And paste directly in our program. As the formula require the ADC voltage, let's calculate the ADC voltage first. I am going to call it temp. Print the temperature now. And add a delay of 1 second. Let's save it and run. You can see the temperature on the console. Note that this is in degrees Celsius and you can use the conversion formula to convert it to the Fahrenheit. You can see here, if I touch the core, the temperature increases a little. It will take some time to go back to normal. This is it for this video. I hope things were clear. I will try to bring the DMA, and interrupt videos for the ADC in the future. You can download the code from the GitHub, the link is in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.